Radon and other soil gases can also be removed from beneath the slab foundation when a vacuum is applied to a suction pit created beneath the slab. This technique is known as sub-slab depressurization. The suction pit is typically installed at a location on the slab that is near an outside wall to take advantage of soil settling that typically occurs near footings. It is also a location that typically does not interfere with interior space. In fact, a location in the center of the slab is often the least effective location. For most homes, only one suction point is necessary. However, in some homes where there are obstructions to lateral sub-slab airflow, like intermediate footings for load-bearing walls, or when home additions are separated by foundations, it may be necessary to have more than one suction point, which will be located on opposite sides of the obstruction, all of which can typically be connected to the same radon fan. Multiple suction points may also be needed if there are more than one slab level. Again, if routing allows, these can be tied together and connected to a single fan. The creation of the suction pit is very straightforward with the floor-to-pipe connection often being accomplished with a 6 by 4 inch PVC reducing bushing that fits into a 6 inch slab hole and reduces down to 4 inch to accommodate the vent system. To install the fitting, draw an outline on the floor at a point to avoid contacting a spread footing under the slab. Drill the slab along the outline using a hammer drill. A core rate can also be used if you are comfortable with this type of machinery. After your holes are drilled, chisel out the plug and clean up the edges so your reducing bushing will fit into the hole. It is very important that you dig out a pit beneath your hole, removing at least 10 gallons of soil. Also, the tighter the soil is, the more dirt you should dig out. Install the bushing by applying caulk to it and twist it into the hole. Apply additional caulk between the edge of the fitting and the floor to assure a good seal. After the suction point is complete, simply glue your vent riser to it and route it to your fan. 